all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i am back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you guys how i created this shades of pink ombre 3d flower like set for this look i'll be using a few different brands one will be Clawley's sweetheart color which is like this pink color you guys will see another is royalty nail supplies s40 and then i will be using sassy from acrylic creamery Lemonhead from Royalty No Supplies, and then the last one I will be using is um XOXO from Nail House. And actually, I didn't end up using S40 from Royalty No Supplies, I ended up switching that one out for Nail House's Magenta, as you guys will see me do. The tips that I have on are acrylic creameries 3XO no curve square tips. However, I did cut them down because I'm going with like shorter nails now, or like I've been doing that recently. The first color that I am going in with on the pinky is Nail House's XOXO, which is one of my favorite pinks. It's like this really cute, like, baby pink color. And when I'm doing ombre nails, I like to swipe the color upwards so that when I lay the next color down, it will blend seamlessly. Also, I will be applying these colors really thin because I will be capping them in clear. Also not sure if I mentioned this, but I am using a Curly Creamery size 12 Kalinsky brush. The next color I will be using on the next nail is Lemonade from Rosie Nail Supplies. The next color that I am going in with is Sassy from Acrylic Creamery, which is like this hot pink color. Really cute. All right, y'all, and the next color is Sweetheart from Clawley, and I love this color. Um, it's a really, really pretty pink. And then the last color that I am using for the thumb is Magenta from Nail House. Alright y'all, so this is how the nails are looking right now. And I'm going to go ahead and start the ombre part. Um, and I'm going to use Mia Secrets Cover Pink as always. The key to good ombre is working with wetter acrylic and gentle blending. And also, like I told you guys, um, I like to blend the color, the first color, upwards so that when I apply the next color, they blend seamlessly.
all right y'all so next i'm going in with me and secrets clear and capping the nails and then we're going to move on to the 3d flowers Alright y'all, this is how the nails are looking after application. Super cute, super pretty. I just love these colors, like all of the shades of pink. They're so pretty. Now I'm going to go ahead and seal my cuticles using, as always, my 5-in-1 carbide drill bit from Panda. And you guys can find this um, drill bit in my Amazon storefront. And my Amazon storefront is always linked in the description below. Alright guys, and then I'm going to go straight into filing. Starting with filing underneath the nails, the surface, and then the sides. If you guys want to see a detailed tutorial on shaping, check out my Shaping for Beginners video on my page.
all right guys this is how the nails are looking after them being shaped and filed i'm just gonna go ahead and buff the nails spray some alcohol wipe them off and move on to the design Alright y'all, so I like to apply crystals in the middle of my flower, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some stones um, using my Zule Bling Adhesive as always. Alright y'all, so on each nail for the 3D flowers, I'm going to use the same color that I did for the ombre for the flowers. When I do 3D flowers, I like to put 100% pure acetone into my monomer so that the acrylic can dry faster and it's easy for me to mold the flower petals. The brush that I am using is in my Amazon storefront. It is a size 4 3D nail art brush. And when I place my petal down, I just kind of like take the body of the brush and kind of like almost like indent the nail like um, to form the petal and just like spread it outwards as you see me doing here. I'm no pro at this, I'm still working on my 3D flowers, I've gotten a little bit better and a little faster but I'm still working on them.
all right guys i just applied some acrylic creameries matte top coat and here are the final results Alright y'all, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you are notified each time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.